G'day, thanks for stopping by, checking out my latest video. Um, I'm Nick, Scale Armour. Uh, if you checked out the last video, thank you very much. I uh, got some really good feedback, uh, more views than I thought, so thank you very much. Uh, just remember to like and subscribe if you do like and enjoy the videos and happy to receive feedback as well, always trying to improve. Um, what have I been up to? Uh, not much, I've been sick, trying to get over this cold it's winter here in australia and i work outdoors so i've just come down with a bad cold i've been sick for about a week week and a half so i haven't been up in the shed too much um but i am now on the mend so uh yeah yeah hopefully get a bit more modeling done what have i been up to uh, i've done a little bit of modeling uh more ordering online but we'll come to that soon we've been working on the 135th Tapper Mark IV male uh, World War One tank. It's been a pretty enjoyable kit. Um, I have added some brass and aluminium barrels from Ava, uh, which were really nice. A bit more detail to them. Um, and I've just started, well, just completed the tracks, and they were an absolute dream. Um, just clipped together one tiny little spot on the top to clean up and i had one track length assembled in half an hour um so yeah both were done in in an hour uh, really nice these are probably the best kit track lengths i've used so uh some people have said they're comparable to the tomato ones i haven't built the tomato kit so i can't say for sure but these were really nice and and yeah do recommend the kit so i've gone ahead and added um some decals and the gloss coat to tank. Um, so we'll go ahead now, have a look at that. Um, done a bit of detail painting on the exhaust and the on ditching log. But yeah, we'll go ahead, have a bit of a look at that now. Right, so as you can see, made pretty good progress on that one. Um, just got to add the tracks, pin washers, a bit of weathering. It's not going to be ridiculously weathered or mudded up. Um, this is going to be a gift to my parents. They uh, bought me this kit five or six years ago when I got back into modelling seriously. Um, so this is going to be a gift to them. Um, I'm going to put it in a clear acrylic display case for them so it can stay out of the dust and they don't have to worry about it keeping it too too dust free uh you know it's easier to clean a case than a tank so this is going to be a gift for my parents it's not going to be part of a diorama or a, or a base um so yeah thank you mum and dad okay. so as you can hear i'm still a little bit sick uh, i only had the one day off work um didn't want to take too much off work was pretty good with the new job um don't want to set off on the wrong foot but yeah have done a bit of ordering and received a few things so uh, if you do follow my Instagram, you would have seen this. But first up, it's just landed yesterday. Um, is the new 135th Gecko Models Ram Kangaroo 2 Lake Production. So this just arrived yesterday from Hong Kong. Uh, this was from Hobby Easy. Uh, so we will do an unboxing of this one shortly. Um, so yeah, this... I've had a, one quick little peek. I haven't like, broken bags or anything on this kit. Uh, so we'll do that together. Um, and as well as that one, I must have been sick for some reason. I don't know why, but I bought myself a car kit. Um, I think I want to try something metallic and shiny. And knowing how good the outlaw paints are, I want to see if an armor modeler can get a decent finish on a car. Uh, now, I've got a set of mags as well, you know, customize it, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so a bit of, bit of an experiment for myself, a uh, bit of branching out, seeing if I can do it, um, get a high gloss finish and something really presentable on a car kit. Um, so this is the Aoshima, uh it is an RX-7, uh, nice looking kit, um, pretty much going to build it out of the box, there might be one or two little additions, 
uh, have been playing around with some oven cleaner just to remove um, chrome plating from the exhaust, the, the custom exhaust. So that seems to be working. Uh, I will share that. I'll do a bit more and share that next time. So stay tuned. Uh, hopefully that does tend to work out. Tried it on another kit, plastic. Haven't tried it on this uh, excess bit of sprue yet. And this is, yeah, unstarted as such. So this will be another project in the works. Let's see what I can get out of that one as well and um, push myself to try something new. So yeah, stay tuned. But now let's have a look at this 135th Gecko Models Ram 2 late production. Right, so here it is, the 135th Canadian Ram Mark II Kangaroo APC Lake Production from Gecko Models. Fantastic looking box art. Um, yeah, absolute selling point right there. Uh, so let's have a look and see what we've got on the size of the box. Uh, we have our photo wedge sprue and our decal sheet. And a bit of a warning, a few different languages, your standard warnings. Um, Spin around, we have not too much on the side, just the artwork and the name again. And on the other long side, we have our 3D CAD images. So we've got the overall tank completed, what it should look like. Uh, that's got the track extenders. As you can see here, it's got two different types of uh, tracks you can have with and without the track extenders. Same tracks, you do have to add the extenders by the looks. Um, Full detailed under chassis, full detailed engine bay with engine. Um, yeah, fully detailed suspension, looks like with casting as well. Um, and yeah, a few more shots of the interior. So, yeah, let's open this one up, have a bit of a squeeze inside, and see what we've got. Uh, with most Gecko model kits that I've come across, it is a box top with a hard-lined uh, box inside, so protects the sprues and that really well, especially when they are very delicate. Um, so, yeah, looks like we've got quite a few sprues um, in separate bags. So, I haven't opened these up yet. Uh, everything's still fully sealed, so what I'll go ahead and do is I'll cut everything out of the sprue bags uh, get rid of that annoying crinkly noise and we'll go through and have a bit of a uh, detailed look at what you get in the kit. Stay tuned. So first up we'll go ahead and have a look at our instructions. Uh, on the front we have a bit of history about the vehicle uh, in five different languages. Uh, then your general warnings, your cautions, you know sharp knives. Be, be very careful with this sort of stuff does hurt uh, if you do get yourself with a, with a new knife blade. Um, a few of your icons you probably have to keep an eye out for, especially with your photo etch and your decal. Uh, tools required and the correct method for applying the decals. On this page we have the sprue layout, uh, all the trees including the decals and the photo etch sheet. So if you aren't a fan of photo etch this one might not be for you, but always good to challenge yourself and push yourself. Uh, this stuff can be corrected. Uh, you can get, always get deep bonder and that sort of stuff if you do need to to unstick something, maybe your fingers, hey Callum. Uh, so yeah, all right, going to step one. Okay, so these are 3D CAD uh, instructions, digital instructions, but very well done, very clear, large size. Here's the size of my hand. Um, so yeah, you do get quite a good detail view like of the parts especially some of, some of these parts are quite small so anyway I'll uh, I'll go through and have a bit of a flick through and uh, feel free to pause at any time um, and yeah take in all the detail
Okay, so it looks like from steps one to twelve, you are building up the driver's compartment uh, and the interior. Um, a bit different to your normal armor builds where you don't start with the suspension of road wheels first, which is a nice change. Uh, I like to put them off to later myself. And step 13 and 14 look like we're starting to get into the engine. So we'll go ahead now and have a bit more of a look. Okay, step 19, 20 onwards, we are starting to uh, build the suspension. Looks like there may be some options for different road wheels, maybe. Um, some tiny photo edge parts, so be very, very careful with those. Um, but yeah, we'll have a bit of a look. Looks like you do get two different types of... Uh, road wheels you have the depressed type and the open type so check your references and your personal preferences uh, so yeah this can be sort of customizable in a, in a small way okay so including the kit is individual length tracks uh looks like there's maybe three or four parts per track link uh four parts per track link and then the extender if you do want to add the duckbill extender uh, which is used for adding a bit of extra grip uh in those muddy terrain uh, in the eto where they serve so Looks like you do get a number 19 radio set as well. Very nice detail. Um, bit of photo wedge for the grill in front of the radio set and you will have to drill out some holes for this version so be very careful and mindful of where they are. Right, so 51 steps all up, uh, no turret, which is good, uh, being an armoured personnel carrier. Uh, looks like you do get stretches. We'll have a look in the sprues very shortly, but that would be a very nice addition. Um, so yeah, very, very nice looking kit. Um, and we have what's that, four options. Um, so yeah, four different choices to, um, to pick out, different names. Uh, you got Butch, Mammy Yoakum, option two, Marion, and Joan the third. So, yeah, four different options. Um, all look like to be in khaki number three. Once again, check your references, do your research uh, if you're inclined that way. But, yeah, this looks like a very nice kit and a few thanks on the back. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and we'll start having a look at some of these sprues. Okay, so first up, uh, very, very small, smallish photo wet sheet. Um, yes, yeah, got some nice detail. We've got an engine grill, looks like some light guards, um, some wing nuts, and a few other bits and pieces for the toolbox. So, not too bad. Um, yeah, good, good little size photo wet sheet. And also, we have the decal sheet. So once again, about the same size as the photo wet sheet. Four different options. Uh, yeah, look, very finely printed. 
minimal carrier film. Um, not sure who these are printed by. But yeah, look very nice, very clear. Um, yeah, they were seen on the side of the box art, so if you want to have a proper look at them, you can pause back there. And one thing I do like about this kit already is they include resealable bags. Not for everything, not for your plastic, most of your plastic sprues, but for your detail parts, you can seal them back up and put them away. So that is a very nice touch. So first sprue up is the upper hull um, and the underneath the chassis and the rear engine access doors. So this looks very, very nicely detailed. Uh, it's got some cast texture on there as these were a cast hull with their nice curvy shapes. Um, good bolt detail on the underneath the chassis. Uh, there's no eject pin marks or anything there, so that looks really, really nice. Uh, no flash as should be expected for a brand new leak tool kit. So that's your first sprue. Uh, a bit of slide molding there for the front. Um, yeah, looks really nice. Second sprue up is the hull sides and these are detailed both sides for the interior kit and i do like how they have added the interior bolt detail um, for the suspension units that is a very very nice touch um, got some cast numbers here on the transmission covers um sorry the final drives um yeah bolt detail galore um the handles look very nicely molded um, but yeah, once again, nice, crisp, clear mouldings. So you have some cables here, a bit of wiring, that is awesome. So there's your hull sides and it may be your internal fenders. So the third screw up, uh, looks like we have four different final drive housings, differential covers for the front. So that is interesting. Um, Definitely have to check the uh, instructions clearly. I do believe it is this variant, or this option, which is uh, number four. But double check that, don't take my word. Um, once again, check your references. There may be fine alterations or details. I'm not too sure. That's, um, no, I haven't seen that before. You'd normally get one or two. You normally get a, uh, a bolted or a cast transmission cover, so. Uh, yeah, but they all look good. They've all got cast texture. Um, some other fine bits. You've got your air filters back here. So a hatch. Uh, maybe the driver's hatch as well. But yeah, very finely moulded. Very nice. Fourth screw up is the engine. And there is a lot of fine detail here. Yeah, you've got all your cylinders here. Wow, this is awesome. Your fan, exhaust, cowling, and I'm not sure what these are, but these are very fine, so be very careful with these. Um, very delicate molding, very nice detail. Sprue gates aren't over the top, which is nice. Uh, unlike some other manufacturers, their sprue gates can be huge. But that, that looks awesome, like that detail for the engine looks really good, really crisp. Okay, so we have two of the same sprue. Um, these have 30 cals on them, slide molded. Um, there's an ammo box, belt, and it looks like a, a little cradle for it. So, get two of these, both the same. Um, yeah, looks very nice. You've got the hollow uh, muzzle there, so even better. I like it when uh, kit manufacturers take the extra time to, to get that detail right. Another double up is the drive sprockets. So, once again, it looks like you have three options. Um, they are all different in design. Um, so, yeah, once again, check your references. Check your options, uh, you, might have, you may have a personal preference or you may want to re recreate from a picture or a video. So, looks like you have the options there. But yeah, once again, two of those. Uh, 
Uh, and another double up, which is not surprising for this kit. Actually, there are three of these. Three of the same sprue. Um, so you have two suspension units. Looks like they are sided, directional. Um, may give you an extra idler wheel as well, if that's the case. Um, but yeah, these are your suspension components. Uh, you got your, your pivot arms. Um, yeah, very nicely modelled. Looks like there is cast numbers all over here where they should be. Um, bolt detail looks really good, nice and crisp. Um, and yeah, so you get you get three of these uh, once again. So three of the same. Okay, so here we have a one-off. This is the a lot of the internal parts, including your, your rear firewall. Um, I believe these are your fuel tank fill, fillers. Um, so they run off the top of the engine deck and go down. They are slide molded very nicely. Uh, you have your oil coolers. Um, transmission, it's very nice. Um, I think these are petrol cans or petrol oil cans. Not batteries, they look like batteries, but I don't think they are. And you have the cover for the final drive, which went ran through underneath the, the um, between the crew area for the um, the transmission and to go into the engine. So that is a nice bit of detail, finely moulded. Um, looks like some tools. Um, you got your dash here, real little dash, and some drawers. Yeah, very very nice, finely detailed, nice moulding. Uh, a few little seam lines, but you know, basic modeling skills, you give them a bit of a clean up. Sometimes with these fine parts, I like to clean them up while they're still attached on the sprue. That way you're not handling them too much. Um, you can just give them a quick scrape with hobby knife. Uh, yeah, and the seat, seat has uh, stretch marks in it as well, so that is very nice. Uh, another one off sprue. I'm uh, not sure what we've got here. We, have, we do have some tools. Um, Maybe these are the toolboxes that go on the front fenders and the rear fender. Everything's uh, really nicely moulded, nothing broken in the packet. That's where that sturdy box comes in really handy. Um, but yeah, everything everything looks really nice. I'm not sure what everything is there, but I'll uh, have to have a good look at the instructions. Okay, now onto the fun. We have, well, once again, they provide the resealable bags. These are some some parts of the track. So these are the connectors, the end connectors. And you get twelve of those, all the same. So there is gonna be a bit of cleanup there. Sprue gates sprue gates aren't too big once again. Um, but yeah, if you don't like individual link tracks uh especially styrene ones these may not be for you um but they they look nicely molded um it's always good to give the kit one to go and if they're not for you then you can source aftermarket but yeah just be kept very careful with those they are very delicate um uh, and yeah these are resealable bags are uh, an absolute treat so moving on we'll have a look at the next part of the uh the tracks and these are the track pads so there's a nice, nice bit of uh, something in there you can see that someone's here lovely uh, so you get six of these these are all the same so these are your top and bottom pads so you have the chevron the pressed steel chevron up top and then uh, the back inside which will run over your road wheels six of those um, you can see indentations for where your end connectors go so once again these are going to be very tedious I think you'll just have to put a, a small drop of glue in the middle and that will be it but it will be very 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 fine I won't have to go uh, crazy with the glue here but yeah six of those sticking with the track theme 
Uh, so once again, what have you got? Five of these. Uh, these are your duckbill extenders. So these are optional. Um, a lot of these vehicles in actual life, after a bit of use, you know, the, the odd one or two of these were missing. So once again, check your references. Um, but these are very fine, very fine sprue gaze, nicely moulded. Uh, yeah, so there is, so I say five, five of those, all the same. Okay, sticking with the running gear, and once again, nice resealable bags is road wheels galore. So, looks like we have two different types. You have your open spoke and your pressed ones as well. Personally, I prefer the open spoke. Just gives another dimension where you can see through and add a bit of extra detail. Uh, these do have the grease nipple on there, which not many kits do. So these actually should have two grease nipples per wheel, which they do. So that is awesome. Nice bit of detail. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely casting, lovely moulding. Bolt detail uh, on the bottom corners too. So, yeah, these are nice. Really, really well done. Um, and good good option to have too, if you have a preference. Sometimes you can actually mix, mix and match them if you find the appropriate reference pictures. The wheels are wheels, they're all the same size. Um, it was just who made them and what they made them for. Initially, it's why they're different. Right, what else do we have? The more nice resealable bags. I wish other companies would take note. Uh, we have a number 19 wireless and a tarp. And maybe just. Maybe some headphone speakers. I'm not too sure. That's cool though. And on this kit is our. Oh, sorry. On this sprue is our 50 cal. So we can see some, some slide molding there. Um, really nice detail. Uh, for your barrel, uh, that's hollow. Uh, you have your ammo belt, um, your cradle, uh, ammo box. So, yeah, very nicely molded once again. Very fine. Good to see a bit of slide molding in the hollow muzzles uh, for your gun barrels. Only a couple to go. It's quite a bit in this kit. It's not probably for the beginner modeler. Um, probably, yeah, someone a bit more bit of experience. Because there are a lot of fine parts and the individual track links alone. Um, so here it looks like we have some lockers, our ball mount for our 30 cal for the front, and some more tools maybe. I'm not too sure. And um, oh, there we go. Nice little individual slide molded uh, 50 cal barrel. That is cool. So that's hollow and it's got a nice protective feet on it so yeah very well done and then we have two sets of tools so we have two two sprues the same sort of tools it looks like I've actually got a, got a broken piece here uh, with a bit of glue though that can be repaired that's not the end of the world um, yeah got the shovels um, some of your periscope covers Fuel cap covers, um, some U bolt shackles, fire extinguishers, so pickaxe. Yeah, nicely done. Uh, that's a double, so you get two of those screws, um, which I'm sure I believe they are going to use for another variant. I'm not sure. I think it is the flamethrower variant, uh, which will be which will be cool as well. So hopefully that one follows along this one. Um, and here, surprisingly, are some accessories. So we have some some sacks and some bags, um, some personal bags and that sort of stuff. Some tarps, bed rolls. So that's that's a nice little touch. That's a bit of an extra. But the sprue's a bit warped. I'm sure it's meant to be, but not too bad. And then we have some stretches. So two of these sprues, uh, two stretches. One's closed, sealed up, and one is open. Um, some blankets and some feet for the stretches. So actually, 
pretty sure that Echo models have a set of figures on stretches, maybe are injured or recuperating, that sort of stuff. So these might be from that set. So that's a good little accessory to have. Uh, and if you do build dioramas and that sort of stuff, if you don't use them for this kit, you can use them on another build. So that's a nice little inclusion there. And the last and final screw is the clear pass. Um, once again, nice resealable bags, so we can put them away, but there are two headlight lenses and two periscopes, so very, very clear, nice and shiny. Um, yeah, that's the uh, the last of the, um, the sprues, so a very nicely detailed kit. Uh, so as you can see, looks like an awesome kit, lots of detail. Um, just going to be a bit wary of the instructions. Um, they do look like CAD instructions, so just double check your numbers, double check your parts. But yeah, very, very excited to get started in this one. Um, nice looking kit, hopefully goes together well. I haven't built a Gecko Models kit yet. I do have uh, like their landing craft, their British Assault landing craft in the stash, uh, which I will get to eventually as well. But yeah, this one with a full interior looks awesome. So. Okay, so as well as receiving the Gecko Models 135th Ram Kangaroo, uh, I have also received these Landmo model conversion sets for Sherman tanks. Um, so we have the Flail, uh, that is for the M4, M4A2 and M4A4, if I'm correct. Uh, and we have the M1A1 Dozer, which I believe is for any vv ss tank so your early sherman uh suspension types not your easy eights uh you know like fury and that sort of stuff these are for the early ones and maybe even the m3 lee grant if they use them i'm not 100 percent sure but they did use the same or very similar chassis and width so maybe i would convert that one uh again but these are 3d printed kits uh with a lot of photo which the uh the flail it also includes chains um but yeah well let's get into those now have a bit of a proper look and i'll uh, show you what's in the kits cheers okay so it was a nice detailed kit from gecko models there uh we'll go ahead and have a look at the shimmer one crab flail uh for your m4 m4 a2 and m4 a4 shermans um so these were Hobart's funnies. Um, a bit of history if you like looking into your, your tank um, development. Um, so obviously there was um, yeah engineering tanks needed to uh, penetrate minefields and, and reach um, reach landing grounds. So first time I've actually opened this kit. Um, there it looks like there is a correction already. Or maybe it is just an, uh, an additional part they have got. Very nice, fine, thin photo etch. Uh, yeah, very fine, very, very glary. Uh, that looks like to be our instructions. And we have two brass rods. Same length, so let's have a bit of a squeeze at these instructions. Uh, nice little, nice little size. And they do fold out. Awesome. Okay, so starting off, we start with the actual cylinder. Uh, it does include chains, uh, and there are a lot of little photo edge parts to attach. So, once again, maybe not for the beginner, but a nice conversion nonetheless. Um, yeah, yeah, building it up, cutting the arms, um, a lot of little photo edge parts and directional so they are sided so you have to be very careful with those a lot of bending and rolling to do with your photo edge and it looks like that's where one of the copper pipes is so uh what do we got on this side okay so this is the second part so we can see it does actually look like it can lift up and down which would be a very nice detail. So, if that is so, you can position it. That's cool. Um, 
Yeah, you will need, uh, you see a glue, um, or a soldering iron, or both, to, uh, to build this one. Your regular styrene glue won't work, but it will be a kit within a kit. Um, and yeah, you get a very nice finish, so that looks really cool. A bit daunting. Um, I don't mind doing a bit of photo etch, um, but let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh wow. Yeah, so it looks like we've got some some fine chain and some little metal balls on a cord like you'll get for uh, turning on and off a lamp. So you may have to remove them yourself. But yeah, so some got some chain. Um hey, decals. Okay, so decals are included in this kit by the looks. Which is very nice. I know you can get some, I think it's from Star Decals. Um, I think I have that set for some of the, the other vehicles. And here is a lot of your photo etch. So it looks like we have a lot of the brackets and clamps for the chain. Uh, very nicely molded, or well, etched. Um, and here are our main components for the, the cylinder drum guard and the end of the cylinders few other attachments but yeah look, look uh, nicely etched so this is going to be a kit within a kit um, what have we got here okay so I think this is a 3D this is the actual drum so this is a th I believe it's 3D printed I'm not an expert on 3D printing but uh, so you can see finer little grooves in there where we'll, we'll have to put some of the photo etch parts that attach to the chain for the actual flail. So that's that's nice. That's a weighty little piece. And then here, if I can get it out gently, I do like how this comes all fully padded too. That's that's a nice. It looks like we have a lot of 3D printed parts in a protective little cradle. So I'm not going to open that up, as you can see, a lot of um, spruce supports, part supports. Uh, it's got more, more foam on there, so that's they've definitely, definitely thought about transport and, and protecting these delicate parts. But what I can see, the bolt detail looks really good. Um, so there's going to be a bit of a clean up with all these support um, attachments, but. You know, basic modeling skills is probably no different to a, uh, a a resin set. So, yeah, that's that's the flail. Um, so you get some nice nice detailed parts in there. So that's pretty much a kit within a kit. So maybe not for the beginner, but very nice nonetheless. And the second one is the Sherman Tank M1A1 type dozer blade for your. VVSS, so your earlier Sherman is not yet not your Easy Eights. Um, these are for your vertical type suspension. Um, so this is from Lambo model as well. Um, I have done a little preview of this one before, but we'll have another look. So on this one, you get a bigger type instruction, which is a bit bit clearer, a bit easier to read. So you got some, I think I believe the support arms and the actual dozer blade is resin, 3D printed resin, and then you, a lot of your detail is photo etched. So you add on the bottom of the blade and your attachments. There is more 3D printed resin in this, and I do like these instructions better. I don't know why they've done different ones. I guess being newish, uh, it's good to try a few things and see, get some feedback. So yeah, a lot of photo etched parts. Uh, you get supports for the actual vehicle here. Uh, very nice detail once again. Now, you get resin bolts. I'm hoping they come within the kit. So this one's a bit more straightforward. Um, yeah, less moving parts as such. In more ways than one. So that's the instructions. Uh, got a couple of pieces of foam. And yeah, a, a lot less parts in this one. So here is your little basket of um, supported parts. So just a few brackets, there are the bolt heads there as well. Um, these 3D printed, I do like these protective cages for your, for your parts, like for transport, and that's very sturdy. So, um, 
here is your dozer blade. It looks like I've got a little bit of, bit of fine chipping up the top, so I'll have to just repair that or sand it off. It's very, very, it's only not even half a mil, so just add a bit of mud, hey? Maybe a tarp? Nah, joking. Um, yeah, once again, nice, nice light 3D printed piece. A couple of, couple of points. I think it's 3D printed, I'm not sure. Well, it be cast. Uh, a couple of points to remove, but yeah, we've got the holes through the through the um, pivots there. Uh, here are your support arms. Now these these large bits here, I believe, do get removed. So I did notice a couple of mine had snapped off when I got the kit, and was a little bit worried, and now I'm not because you do remove them. And get these. There they are, the bits that broke off. You do get two photo wet sheets in this one, so I believe these are welds. They are, these are these are um photo wet welds down the bottom here. So I believe they go on the back of the blade. Um you've got your main cover for your hydraulic pivot at the front. That's your bottom of the blade itself, so that's that's very nicely done. Um but yeah. Really good details. They have the actual bend lines on them, so you will know where to bend without messing up too much. Um, and on this one, I believe it is the pivot arms for the sides, just the supports. You do get photo X bolt heads there too, so I guess there's an option or if you have a preference. But yeah, another very nice fine, fine sheet. So yeah. Two great kits from Landmo model. Um, if you are in the market for a unique Sherman, uh, check these guys out. Um, I mean, there are, there was, or I don't know if it's still available, the Academy kit for a Sherman dozer, but I think that was for the Easy 8. But yeah, two great kits. Uh, hopefully, we see some more. It'd be good to see a beach recovery vehicle. Um, conversion. I know there is, I think it's a resicast one, but yeah, that, that looked pretty full on. But yeah, anyway, thanks guys, checking these out.